A network is a system of nodes connected among them. In the Learning Innovation Network, these connections are channels that describe as supports the interaction within the context, generating learning. These channels can be both physical and virtual. In terms of physical channels, we are referring to both physical objects, such as book and doubts, but we are also referring to physical spaces, such as classrooms, libraries, study rooms, laboratories, and spaces for informal interactions, such as student lounges. The redesign and evolution of these spaces is one of the pivotal actions put in place by some of the most advanced international universities. Research highlights how the formal physical environment in which students take their courses has a significant impact on measurable student learning outcomes. The main goal of new learning spaces is to facilitate the teaching innovation processes, supporting the development of teaching and learning approaches based on active learning. To this end, advanced learning spaces are equipped with movable and flexible furniture and integrate various technological devices such as multi-screens, smart boards, etc. The OECD defines a teaching and learning space as a physical space that supports multiple and diverse teaching and learning programs and pedagogies, including current technologies. The definition goes beyond that, including concept of functionality, cost effectiveness, sustainability, and more. Nevertheless, the use of current technologies is considered not as a revolution, but as an evolution that allows to include new and diverse pedagogic approaches. Radcliffe used the same criteria as a basis for the definition of the pedagogy space technology framework. The PST framework effectively describes the ecosystem in which the teaching and learning experience takes place, and that is based on the integration between education, technology, and spaces. Several international studies define guidelines and models to design and assess advanced learning spaces. Educational institutions and universities are slowly adapting to this new paradigm. However, what is really important is to support students and teachers in the use of such multifunctional spaces so that they can leverage the potential of the available resources to make the best of it. Oh,